Western Australia, the sex industry works in a grey zone. Prostitution and pornography are not illegal. However, activities associated with it, such as brothels and pimping, are. Due to this breach, for years authorities have turned a blind eye to human trafficking and illegal adult industries. Underground adult filmmakers often come to Aboriginal towns to promise children a career in acting. However, this is not the complete truth. We'd been given the chance to follow two filmmakers as they held auditions to cast their main male character by the name of Samson. For Samson, I'm looking for a young fella, about 14. Maybe a footballer. Yeah, handsome, wiry, little run amok. What's it like living here? It's all right. It's all right? A bit boring or plenty to do? Oh, it's good. It's good. We're going to make a big film in Alice Springs about this cheeky little young fella. You seen any um, black fella movies? Nothing? And you're born here or in Alice too? Alice. Alice, same way. Do you, ever, do you feel like acting? Doing some acting? Yeah. Don't know. Maybe? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. We just, yeah, we're just meeting people and we'll, if, we, if we really like you, we'll get you to come down and might do some acting stuff, you know? Well, so far, Rowan is the one. Yeah, I think so too. And I'm thinking if we don't find the right girl, we'll just get him to wear a wig <laughs> and he can be Samson and Delilah. Um, I'm Rowan McNamara. I'm from Santa Teresa. And my favourite sport is football. And I like to go hunting with my uncles at Bush. And I go to school or sometimes. And I like playing sports, that's all. Hey, woof. That's great, boss. That's probably serious. <laughs> Rowan was fantastic. It's a bit scary. Why is it scary? Well, he's, that's the first kid we've looked at. It's the first kid we've looked at, boy, for Samson. And he's fucking good. The two filmmakers then proceeded to look for their main female character, Delilah. Phone calls and ads were put out in order to bring in young girls to audition for their fake film. Hello. Hello, John. Sir. Yeah, Double Joe here. Yeah. And we want to ask you whether you'd come to town. We'd like to see Shamima. Shamima. Shamina. Yeah, Shamina. I've got no car. You don't have a car? Yeah. Right. What about that bush bus? Is that bush bus coming in? Oh, yeah, no money. Yeah, no, we'll organise something like that. We'll organise some money. Because uh, town has been a problem? Yeah, no, we, we're no, worried. We're on our way back to uh, Papanya, and we want to take Shamina into Alice Springs, sort of away from her comfort zone and see how she goes. We're going to have to be in Alice Springs, away from her family for, you know, six or seven years. Where's the Flat tyre. Blew it. Louise. The real worry ones is when you're doing 130 and you get that. Yeah. That's when you're fucking real scared. Hello. G'day. How are you? You're great. <laughs> Sorry, we're, we're naughty. We've got two young potential actresses in the back of the Toyota. we got a flat tyre. Adult industry filmmakers attempt to recruit young girls for their projects and do this by deceiving their parents, often offering them a large sum of money. Happy ending, good resolution to the whole thing, and the big brother comes and gets the two that are getting mixed up in trouble in town and then brings them out to an outstation and a really good resolution. Said, oh, that's really good. Yep, no worries. There was no tension with that. I ran it briefly through with John too, and, um, and he said, that's fine, we understand. Oh, excellent. You know, and, and especially when they hear good resolution. Yeah. After a few hours, word had spread through town of the auditions and the potential prize money that could be up for grabs. The filmmakers were even stopped in the middle of the road by a young girl and her father who hoped to be part of the film. That's all right. Just there, you can be like, Jera. 
Yeah, where is Jenna? Yeah, how are you? Is that Scott Murphy? Yeah. Yeah. She's famous now. Oh, thank you. And you're from, from Bobonia, or? And how old are you? I mean, 15? And you were born out here, or in Alice Springs? And have you ever been in a movie before? No. Okay. Thank you for that for doing that. Shamina. Hello. Shamina. Finding Delala proved to be more difficult than first apprehended. The crew searched for a few days and auditioned over 100 different girls. They narrowed it down to their favourite five girls. What I want to do is I'll take two photos of you. So I'll get you to do the smiling ones first. And then now I'll get you to do it. Can, can someone be too beautiful? Um, yeah. Do you think she was too beautiful? Shit, she's fucking amazingly beautiful. You know what I mean? Mm. I should be concerned that it's only two weeks until we shoot and we don't have a Delilah, but I'm not because secretly I have a favourite already. <laughs> Gibson and the reason why I'd like to do the film is to experience how people live. Is it what you thought it would be like? Yes. Anything else you'd like to say? No. Nah. Alright then you're free to leave. You're bored. See my horse? He's got two wheels. Yeah. I just feel like acting by myself. That's all. I don't act with girls. Eyes open, Rob. <laughs>